Can barnacles give you an infection? Oh, barnacles. Those crusty little hitchhikers of the sea clinging onto docks, ships, and whales. It's actually pretty interesting how they just plant themselves and become a solid part of whatever structure they latch onto. But can they give you an infection? It's a fair question. You see, in the ocean, there's a smorgasbord of organisms and bacteria just waiting to mingle with us landlubbers. So here's the thing. Barnacles themselves are not out to get you. They're filter feeders, not infectious agents. They sit there, sieve water for their meals, and generally mind their own business. However, should you decide to go rock climbing on a barnacle-infested outcrop without protection, or run your hand along a barnacle-covered rope, you might be in for an unpleasant surprise. Those tiny entrenched fortresses have sharp edges, and they are more than capable of slicing through your skin. Once that happens, you've just given a free pass for any sort of marine bacteria that's been hanging around to enter your bloodstream. Now we have two problems, a cut and a possible infection. Often, the infection is caused by bacteria in the water or on the barnacle's surface, not the barnacle itself. One common culprit is Vibrio, a bacterium that thrives in marine environments. If you've heard of people getting sick from uncooked or improperly prepared seafood, that's usually the bacteria responsible. So what's the advice here for the good folks of the Pacific Northwest, specifically in Portland, Oregon, where I am, or anywhere else for that matter? If you happen to brush up against barnacles, clean the wound thoroughly with fresh water and antiseptic, and monitor it closely. Infections can escalate quickly because marine bacteria are not messing around. Now, if you live near the water, like I do near the beautiful, albeit colder, waters surrounding Portland, and you should see some of the barnacle-encrusted surfaces at the docks here, just take the necessary precautions. Wear gloves and sturdy shoes when you're messing about near marine equipment, and always clean up any wounds right away and seek medical attention if things look dicey. And of course, respect the wildlife. The next time you're at Cannon Beach or Haystack Rock, admire the barnacle's perseverance, but maybe don't get too hands-on. Nature has its boundaries, and sometimes it's best to observe without the touchy-feely instincts kicking in.